Hello everyone, it's Tuesday. It's Harp Tuesday. You just heard Soupir by Marcel Tournier, which is a beautiful little piece. It means sigh in French. And Marcel Tournier was a harpist and a composer who wrote some wonderful, very French music. This is a very short piece of his, just a single page, and written for the pedal harp, but I've adapted it for the lover harp, and so I wanted to do an episode on this. And um, talking about just a little bit about the piece, about what, because you, uh, you can download the music um, freely available, uh, so what I'm talking about with some of these markings on here, and just a little bit about the music as well. So um, we start with this B natural right here, and we get the this little theme, this little statement. Which is such a beautiful little 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 phrase, right? If we're thinking of strict rhythm, it's one M triple it one. The hard thing is to feel it as this E being the downbeat, right? Rather than one and two and one, it's and one. He's got this piano crescendo into sforzando, and sforzando, sforzando of course means uh, quite loud and kind of suddenly loud, a bit of a shock. Bit of an accent to it. I'm not sure how much of a sport sandal we want to do here, but it definitely swells up, right? <laughs> Suddenly we have this big left hand chord, and then I feel this one is being slightly softer overall. So notice I've circled that C flat. That's because we're playing it as a B natural instead. That's an enharmonic. It's a common notation on the harp is because on the harp, enharmonics matter. On the piano, if you see uh, a C flat or a B natural, it's the same key, right? It's the, it's the black key right below middle C in this case. Um, sorry, not the black key. <laughs> It's the it's the, it's the white key. It's the B. It's the B right below middle C. Um, doesn't matter how you write it. You play that same note, but on the harp it matters because it would be different. We can we can play for example a D sharp or an E flat, same sound, different strings and different lever settings or pedal settings. So it matters for us how we spell it and harmonically. So in this case, by circling it, it says that yes, this is written as a C flat, but we're doing the equivalent in sort of the most common alternate enharmonic spelling, which would be a B natural. I mean, again, it could be like a, a triple sharp or whatever, um, but anyway, we'll do it as a B natural. So. Change it. Change the low A. Maybe a quick muffle. So we kind of do an open open handed muffle on the way to finding this one five eight shape in the left hand. And the little swoops that I've done here are my suggestion of rather than trying to do four notes. Oh, and now maybe having a jump all the way up in the right hand, we're gonna do three notes, three notes, two notes, and now the right hand has some time to get up to find this E. So it's and here we will just do four, three, two, one. Big stretch here in the left hand. If you can, find all of them. If you can't, you can start with just four and three. So that and then rotate. All right, we start with four and three, play four, and now this is just a second inversion um, G chord. Should be should be fine. G minor in this case. Um, and here, to facilitate getting to this chord, 
we can place our fourth finger on the F. So we have, sorry. So we have some of that chord already planted. Here again, we're gonna do three notes, three notes, two notes. We arrive up here at the right hand. Now four again. You could slide if you want here. I prefer to just do one, two. Muffle, change. So that is a tricky spot. I had to practice that a bit. You can see, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna post it before this video or after, but I recorded a video of me working on this piece to get it in good enough shape to play it for you so that you get a chance to hear what it sounds like. Um, and this requires some practice, right? Because we have to muffle. If we don't muffle, maybe we could get away with it. I don't know. I assumed we couldn't. Um, actually, on this harp, I'm not hearing that too badly. You might try, might you know, depends on the harp. I think uh, on the Aoyama, where I originally did this transcription or this arrangement, I heard that more. Um, anyway, if you can, right, it's nice to just be safe and put a muffle in there. And oh, again on this one, uh, place the bottom, that F, and then we have at least the bottom of that octave ready in the right hand. Same thing here. And now we're back to groups of three, three, two. Uh, we need this down. So same thing. Uh, here again, we were playing an enharmonic. We're playing a B natural instead of the C flat. And now we play an actual B flat. Now we play B flat, sorry. So both times it's B. In starting the B in the left hand, this B, F, A. And here, even though these are four notes in the left hand, I would tend to want to copy the right hand pattern. Just, I think it's maybe slightly easier on the brain and the hands. So that we're doing one, two, three, right? Same, same fingers, rather than whatever you find easiest. Sorry. Oh, what is it? There we are. If you have this top B, beautiful. If you don't, just play that B. We're, we're slowing down, poco rit. We could just come off and play with two. We could cross over to one. We could do a slide or something, but it's nice again to have both hands doing the same thing. Harmonic. I was having a hard time getting this wire harmonic. Away. There's an ah tempo, and I think the ah tempo comes with this G, right? Not with this B, not with the first note in the bar. Still fading away. And one, two, three, one, two. Oh, again, another enharmonic. We're playing a B instead of a C flat, and immediately change it. Take a little bit extra time if you need, right? We can enjoy this, this nice little chord. A little muffle here. Change these two. Ignore the printed, you know, Ray, Ray flat and what is it? Uh, La and Do, etc. La, I don't know. Can't read me. Can't read from here. Um. Then I kept I kept messing this up. This is one. We're not playing. We're not playing this D flat. Um, my harp's not tuned to have D flats. Um, we could do it as a C sharp, but we just we just played a C natural. Um, if you really wanted it, you could try and include it. Now we have. I'm pretty sure we do play some. Some uh, we play. Do we play that D? Yes, we play that D earlier as a D natural, so you'd have to incorporate another pedal lever change. But anyway, it would be nice to have it in there. Um, I'm just don't want to bother with retuning this. So 
So F sharp down there instead of G flat and harmonic again. And then as I was practicing this, um, originally I'd said, okay, muffle this and change this F so we can play it as F natural, but I wasn't happy with that. So, um, so just this, omit that low F, change this, and then I think the fingering I'm happiest with, it's slow, right, it's slow here, was and one, two, three, to go four, two to start with, connect those first two, and in some ways it would be nice to go off, and then that way we, it's clear that this is our triplet, right, we found our triplet here, but I think think just for the sake of the smoothness of getting from this E to this B, just really feel this is, and one, two, three, one, even if it's slowing down, right, that this, and one, two, three, and, 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 and we fade away there. So, um, and again, the piece overall, right, it, it uh, let's see, A little bit of an echo, I think. Different chord. Oh, and actually it's going on. Starting to build an intensity. It's building. Forte. Oh, that nice low C. Intense. back off on these little spots and then start to build again. Crescendo. Sorry I missed that. Oh, but actually that crescendo isn't going anywhere. You think, are we building about No, no, it's just a sigh. It's just going down. The last little hurrah. Calm. But it was all, it was just very simple, right? We have this kind of intensity in the middle, or who knows what's happening, ah, ha, 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 and then, oh, no, it just, it just fades away and ends on this beautiful E, e flat root position chord. So, beautiful piece, and I hope you enjoy playing it. Let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you in a couple weeks. Cheers. <laughs>